Hey guys, it's Andrew, and welcome to a special edition of Holiday Cooking with Andrew. As you can see, I'm in a hotel. 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 Right now you might be wondering, Andrew, why do you continue to call this holiday cooking with every day? You might also be wondering, what, what, what's going on? Why are you in a hotel? So I love traveling, and I love hotels, but when you stay in a hotel, you have very limited food options, and there's nothing worse than waiting for room service. Well, well there's probably worse things. Terrorism. Pepto-Bismol. But waiting for room service is definitely up there. So because of that, I like to be prepared and bring food that I can make in the comfort of my hotel room. So what are we gonna do? That, what I just said. I've done this in the past, if you remember. I've made stuff in a coffee pot, I've made stuff with an iron, and now here we are at this time in space and we're doing it again. Hotel cooking with Andrew number three. Whee! It's not that fun. Honestly, you only go so far and then it's like kind of sad. Yeah, that wasn't worth that If you're still confused about what's going on, here's a quick song to clear things up So I'm in a hotel, but I still gotta eat I could order room service, but those prices are extreme Oh, what do I do? I still gotta eat Oh, what do I do? I, I, I still gotta eat Great, are we all cut up now? Anyways, the other day I was stuck in air traffic and this happened. Oh, I'm so hungry, but I'm not gonna yell about it because I'm on a commercial airplane and if you honestly think I had enough confidence to create a spectacle of myself in a public place, you have severely overestimated the quality of my life. My heart is racing just talking in this room temperature voice from the bathroom. Uh, you've read the title, pizza, quesadillas. Hotel edition. Andrew, how are you going to do that? Let me tell you. Instead of cheddar cheese, which is what's normally in quesadillas, we're gonna use mozzarella. And then instead of dipping it in salsa, we're gonna dip it in pizza sauce. Wow, what a time. But wait, you're in a hotel. What are you gonna cook it with? So, I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, do I even need to say that? Like, this is holiday cooking with Andrew. That's like the gist of the show. But I feel pretty good about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the quesadilla, then I'm going to wrap it in tin foil, and then I'm going to use a hair strip Straightener to cook it evenly on both sides at the same time. Yep, that's right. Let's go to the bathroom to get my hair straightener. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Got it. That was a waste of time. Um, this literally just broke. So that's fun. Hopefully it'll still work though. Let's see. First, we need to get our workstation. Got it. Let's get our, oh my god. No. Oh my god. Um, okay, anyways, let's get our ingredients. I was also gonna get pepperoni, but I'm not in Los Angeles and I couldn't find any fake vegan pepperoni, so. Pepperoni, more like peppered no noni. I'm using whole wheat tortillas and reduced fat mozzarella because I have a figure to maintain. A figure, a figure, a figure, a figure, a figure. Okay, let's do it, I guess. This is gonna happen so quick. I feel like this episode is gonna last like two minutes. Uh, unless something goes terribly wrong and I burn my hotel down. Um, so honestly, could use the view. Step one, preheat your flat iron. Next step, do like, uh, that looks like a good amount. I'm setting my hair straightener to the highest setting, so. Thought I, I don't know, is that a piece of information? Guys, I really feel like this is gonna last like five seconds and this video is gonna be too short. So if I make a lot of dumb commentary, that's why. It's just a tactic to fill time. Anyways, next step. Okay, it broke. Flat irons are great for a variety of things like straightening hair, getting wrinkles out of clothes. Uh, I was gonna make a double dildo joke, but this is a family friendly show. Like the Brady Bunch. This is exactly like the Brady Bunch. Next step, do this. Great. Oh my god, a quesadilla here costs $20. Next step, take a snack break. Next step. Done. Next step. Done. Now I'm going to do this and done. Next step, find other activities around your hotel room to occupy your time while you wait for your flat iron to preheat. Hi. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm not ordering anything. I'm just calling you to tell you that you're stupid for charging $20 for a quesadilla. A quesadilla? I'm having fun. I'm ha this is a good time. Wow. Can I take this? Everything in a hotel is free, right? Okay, it feels pretty hot. I think it's ready. Ow, there's proof. Okay, here we go. Cross your fingers. 
Okay, I guess I'll sit. And now we wait! My milkshake brings- Alright, let's do a check-in. <gasps> it's working! Wow, look at this. <gasps> Wow. I think it's like done. Honestly, I feel like that was faster than if you had cooked it in a pan. Let's cut it. Wow, there you have it. A home cooked pizza dia in a hotel room with a flat iron. Let's try it. Whoa. Oh my god, that's so good. That's amazing. That's amazing. Success. Well, guys, I say make this if you're in a hotel room and you need a meal, or if you're just in the bathroom and you need a meal. Wow. How do you do this? Got it. Oh my god. Well guys, that is all for this special edition of Holiday Cooking with Andrew. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Uh, but yep, that's all for this episode. I will see you guys back in the Season 2 kitchen one last time for the finale. Let me know if you guys want to see another hotel cooking edition. Um, uh, but yep, that's it. I have nothing else to say. Bye!